Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at this product review using smoke simulations. Yes, so as you can see, uh, we have a dense, really dense smoke simulation here and the Athena product and there's some extra particles going on and uh, some rocks in the background. The project is fairly simple. Uh, the main focus is going to be the smoke simulation. Yeah, if you want to check out the project files, project files are going to be on my Gumroad page, Patreon and my YouTube membership page. Yeah, so let's jump in and see how to set this up. I'm using Blender 4.0 because I wanted to use light grouping so that the product has different lighting compared to the smoke. You see the light that is affecting the product is different from the smoke and the rocks also get a different lighting setup uh, because if you just light them using the same lights it all doesn't look very good. Uh, so yeah you can see that uh, we have separation of lights and that's only possible with uh, 4.0 and above but everything else you can do using uh, 3.6 so let's uh, get started so for things first I'm going to start with my domain uh, that's I'm just going to use my default cube remember the larger the domain the more subdivisions you're going to need which will increase your computation time so we have this I can go into uh, the physics tab turn on fluid uh, this is going to be our domain and uh, we can leave it as gas now I need an emitter uh, the emitter is just going to be a cylinder so stuff like this then extrude it up just a bit so that the smoke can be pushed out in all directions now this is going to be a type fluid uh, inflow and uh, the flow behavior should be inflow as well if we hit play you can see the smoke is just rising we want it to go out uh, like that like it's an explosion so I'm just going to turn on inflow increase the initial velocity uh, for the normal and uh, let's play it back and uh, maybe let me increase subdivisions uh, another thing you need to do is check your normals to make sure they're all pointing in the right direction so for that we can go under the overlays and turn on face orientation you can see that they are pointing inside which is going to affect uh, our normal direction here so I'm going to just use shift N I'd flip that and now I can turn off the overlays and now if I hit play you can see now there the smoke is being pushed out but rising up I don't want it to rise so I reduce the temperature to something like 0. Point one and now you can see it's not rising as fast you can make it rise even less by going to the domain and uh, under the gas you can play with the buoyance and make it a very low number like 0 0.0001 and uh, if you move your cursor over it you can see that uh, the buoyance density or buoyance force is based on the smoke density higher values results in, in faster rising smoke and that's also the same for the heat uh, higher values result into higher rising smoke so let's make it very let, let's make it a very small number and you can see now our smoke just uh, stays on uh, the ground but uh, it's going out of, out of our bounding box uh, still so we can reduce this even further maybe point, point zero zero 0.001 yeah you can see it's still rising but not as fast as we as we had it and uh, can push the the normal direction even yeah, so we have something like that let me extend this up a bit and uh, our domain is large but uh, you can see the smoke only uses just a small percentage of it so we can turn on adaptive domain so that uh, the domain just uh, scales up as the simulation goes um one other thing i could do is have this out a bit like this so that uh, the smoke is is shot down more so yeah something like that uh, another thing i could do is uh right now the smoke is not bouncing off any of the bounding walls so if you go to the bounding box you can see in the border collisions we have no walls set i only need the bottom wall so that uh, the smoke can bounce off uh, the bottom so if we do the simulation you can see what we are getting of course the smoke will still rise uh but uh, we can also further reduce uh, look at that how that looks now it's starting to look really really good and uh, maybe let me just scale this now you can see yeah it's starting to look good uh, I still don't like that the smoke is rising and that uh, we have run out of settings that we can use to uh, reduce the buoyancy or the temperature of the smoke so we can add in a drag force a drag force and uh, that is going to slow things down quite a lot uh, I can see we are barely getting anything interesting uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, just animate the, the velocity 
at the drag so at around frame 50 i want the drag to be activated so that everything slows down so i can start with the drag force on and now that is turned on or turned off by using the effect option turn that back on at frame 51 like that and now let's simulate you can see everything runs correctly it's rising and then I, it seems our drag might be a bit too much so let, let's put it at 0.001 yeah you can see that now it really slows the smoke down quite a lot and if I put it at 0.1 it should even almost freeze freeze the simulation let me have yeah you can see how it slows things down so we have more space for the smoke so and uh, the like when you make the bounding box larger i uh, can see that the smoke simulation loses its resolution so you would have to bump up the subdivisions to compensate for the added uh, scale uh, to get yeah to get more resolution so you can see we have something like that looks good uh, so what I'm going to do is animate this inflow and uh, I think I want to increase this to let's say 80 so we want the inflow to start at the smoke to start at frame 30 so at frame 28 it should be off so I'll turn off the inflow and uh, frame 90 i can turn it on but i, I want it to go until uh, frame 41 so i can turn that it can be on until there and then off yeah so now let's see it's off and then goes off yeah and uh, i can go to the smoke and uh, increase the density perfect now one thing you could do is you can note the final position of your smoke so around the final position of your bounding box so i'm going to guess around there and there and there and there and up it ends at around there so now you can go into edit mode of the bounding box just look at how large our bounding box is that's wasting computation time so i'm just going to shrink it to the size of our smoke and that way we can get more resolution from the subdivisions we have used so if we hit play we can get an even more detailed smoke simulation yeah i think that's uh, a nice smoke simulation so let's uh now if you want to add in the extra details that i added i like the bottle uh, let me just grab that from my asset library to add the materials you just have to select the domain and you need a principal volume connect the density to the volume and we should start to see some smoke yeah we can see the smoke right there i can switch to cycles here and uh, just look at what we have switch to gpu turn on denoiser and you can see what we have now I can go to the smoke and uh, you can increase the density to make it really really dense I like that and you start to see some good uh, detail if you want to change the color you just have to change the you just have to change the color here to whatever you want if you want to make it black you just turn it dark like that at first let's give it a nice yellow like that I want the smoke light to be separate from the from the product light so i'm going to come here add a light an area light like this i want the smoke light to be directional like that so let me use about 50 for that and uh, i don't want that light to affect the bottle so i'll go to the object properties this is only in 4.0 and above i'll go to i think it's under shading light grouping or light linking create a new collection and just drag the smoke domain so i'll call this smoke domain Look at my drag my light drag the smoke domain into the light collection and you can see now uh, the bottle is no longer affected by this light uh, i can duplicate this light and i just rotate it so that we get uh, 
the smoke light from all directions. Now we can create other lights to light up the product. Now we just need to set up a new light group. Just drag in the bottle. Now only the bottle is affected by this light so I can bring this up. I like those side reflections and I guess yeah, yeah you could admit these. Another thing I did is add some rocks to the background. Yeah, I have these rocks that I got just to have something in the background. Uh, they also need their own lights. Uh, this this light should affect only the rocks, so I'm just going to give it another its own light group without it affecting anything else. So I wanted these rocks to look dark, so I used a hue and saturation node and just made them dark. Yeah, the other thing I did, I created a particle system and uh, I used a rock like this and uh, gave it the same dark material so if I come in here I can create a new particle system I uh, shouldn't have any velocity this normal velocity should be high and uh, the, ren the render should have some random rotation dynamic with angular velocity randomized and everything and uh, then render we should be rendering the rock we have just added in doesn't have to be that detailed so I can decimate it and you can see how that looks and uh, we need the particles to start emitting when the smoke starts start at 29 and end at 32 yeah yeah you can randomize uh, the scale and uh, these should also be in the light collection now what is left is uh, just playing with the subdivisions you want so you can double the subdivisions for the final render so that you get a more detailed smoke simulation thank you for watching if you are interested in learning more blender here are some previous tutorials i did i can find them in the description And if you want to do some good fluid simulations, but uh, your computer can't handle that, uh, check out Cell Fluids, uh, which is a new simulation add-on uh, by Specula. It's a really amazing fluid simulator and uh, gives you real-time fluid simulations. It comes with materials and everything you can expect for a fluid simulation. Uh, it's best of geometry nodes. It's just amazing what uh, a lot of artists are doing with geometry nodes. Yeah, so this is a uh, so fluid and uh, you can check it out all links are in the description and uh, the project files for the project we just looked at also in the description see you in the next video